God. Make sure you are writing things down. The first thing we want to do now, we want to create a campaign. So you click on new campaign. Okay, this is what we want to do. We want to copy this uh, page, the page of this website. I'm copying this website entirely. And this is what I want you to do. So you also come here and create your own page first. So you click on add new. We have your system with you. You do it. You want to add new page. Before we start that, let's view the site and let's see how it looks like first. Yeah, so you give your page a name. The next thing we want to do, we want to open customize a new tab. So these are the things we want to use. The customize, the new pages, and the WP automatic. So inside the customize, we want to check the menu that I've created. No menu has been created on this website. So how do you let your menu show up here in WP uh, in Elementor? The first thing you need to do here on these menus, you create menu. You give your menu a name, main menu, and you choose it here. Now you scroll down and click on next. Now you can add items to your menu. But since I don't have any pages that I want to add to item yet, so I'm not going to add any item. So what I'm going to do is simple. I just go to my pages and see how many pages are there. And this is the pages I want to create. Overview, About, Products, and Contact. So let me look at the pages here. Wow, there are too many pages. So I'm deleting everything because I don't need any of it. I move them to trash. Because I want to create a website from scratch. Now, everything has been sent to trash. So what pages do I need? I come to customize. To add all those pages, so I click on add item. First page, overview. I had it. Second page, the parallels. Sorry. The parallels. And the third page, products. Why the last page is contact or contact us. So I click on add. Now I've had all the menu. I can now publish. So all I need to do is go to my pages and reload. And all of the pages I created will come here. So the first page we want to edit now is overview. But before I had any of these pages, look at the website we want to copy. Down here, there are posts. And there are buttons, links to other, uh, other pages. So let's complete this, but for the post, we want the post to be continue posting 
and the post will be automatically posted here immediately I create the pages so for that I need to go and set automatic post first so in that case I need to come back to the WP automatic before I click on new campaign I have to check maybe the settings is correct so how do I know if the setting is correct you come to YouTube you can see there is no YouTube API key so I need to create a new API key using this tutorial so inside this tutorial I will learn how to create API key also I want to be generating product through Clickbank so I plug a Clickbank username here for you to be able to do this you must have account with Clickbank but it seems Clickbank doesn't accept Nigeria so you must not use it but if you are lucky to get Clickbank account I've got Clickbank account long time ago but I don't think they are accepting Nigeria now anymore except you have buy quality website you can try it in. you may be lucky to get accepted so click on google developer and open in a new tab let's try it maybe we can create an account here hey you are shaking that thing good So here you create a project, but I don't want to use this. I'll try to use another one. You are sent to Google Developer Console, and you click a new project. Inside this new project, you give it a name. You can give it a, your website name. This website name is. Boom Richard. So you click on create. While creating this, let's continue setting the pages. By seeing this done. So here you select the project. You select your project name. And you wait for it to load when it loads you click on credentials then after clicking on credentials you can now search for youtube api version 1.3 you click here you click on api key sorry not this you search for API services, click on API services, click on enable API services, and search for YouTube. If you don't search for YouTube and you just choose any API, it won't work. So click on YouTube API data, API version 3, and you click on, it's already enabled, so I just click on manage. So here, all I need to do now is click on credential. Make sure where you want to generate the API key. You are using YouTube version API, uh, YouTube version API V3. Then you can generate API and then copy. So you come back to the settings in the YouTube API setting paste it there and you click on save changes so the change is saved so this time around all you need to do is click on new campaign yeah scroll down There are two campaigns I want to create, one for post and the other for product. 
make sure you have WooCommerce installed. Looking at this website, WooCommerce is not installed. So I have to install WooCommerce before creating the second campaign. But for now, let me create this. So I need to go to YouTube now. YouTube.com and search for something related to wealth or rich. So money rich power or money. I think something related to how to get rich. Now I'm going to see many uh You've probably noticed many the new free email marketing option it. available within your Bitrix so 24 account. One of the channel. I copy the channel Earn you money while here. you sleep. That already sounds like a scam, but that is what pass I go back to the campaign. So you can give the campaign whatever you want. Give it any name you want. And then you scroll down. Here. You choose YouTube. Inside here. You choose a, a keyword. Whatever related to something you want to be done. Now let's scroll down. Here you pick the number of posts you want to be posted on your blog. And you choose posts from specific channel. You paste the channel ID, scroll down, and then you choose the following settings. Disable your video, disable your logo, post your comment as comment. You scroll down. On this source, write something here. Watch more on this channel. So you can give credit to the person who actually created the content. Hey. Yeah. So you scroll down. Yeah. So you scroll down. And that's all you need. To save your server from having so many images that are going to be slowing you down and use your disk space quickly. You click on don't save the image on my server. I use this free plugin. Now you go out and install this plugin on your server. Look at this plugin. It says feature the name from URL. You can copy the name here. You can download it here and upload it straightforward, like you always do, or copy the name and then come to the plugins directory and click on add name. You scroll down and paste it here. So this is it. Click on install and activate. With this, you won't have problem running out of your disk space quickly, no matter how many posts you upload. So you scroll down here. You make sure you have created post categories. Before starting create this campaign, let's see where to create post categories. You come here and you click on categories. Give it a name, maybe money, something related to what you are doing. Well, video. 
sorry this is wrong so you click on quick edit and edit it you update the category yeah so here now you are gonna see it you are done with this you are done with this too so let's come back to the ad campaign before you can see this category now you have to reload but we can't reload because everything we have done we have to restart so this is what I will do instead. I click on publish. So I'll be able to save all the settings I've already done. So I can now scroll down and go back to the category and pick the category I want to use. But you can only pick one if you are trying to pick it normal. But we want to pick more than one. You hold control button and start clicking on it and you can click more than one so you scroll back up you can choose the time you want this thing to be uploading one in a minute one in a day one in one hour i want it one in a minute because i want it to happen fast because you know i want to use it on the front page so you click on run to see maybe what you have done is correct or not. Excellent. What you have done is correct. Now you can view it and see how your post look like. So this is it. You uploaded a new post for you. Now and it's going to be uploading every single minute but right now we want to upload a product before we do that we have to install WooCommerce for those of you who said it doesn't know how to use WooCommerce or add product this is what you are going to do so you go to plugin and click on that name so you scroll down here to search WooCommerce Anytime you are searching WooCommerce, remember this is double M. If you use single M, you are not going to see this. You are going to see many WooCommerce extensions instead. So you click on install. After installing, you activate. But while waiting for you to install and activate, come back to pages. Let's edit overview first. So you click on edit. You open it in new tab. Cancel this. Cancel this. Now we can activate WooCommerce. Now, before you make an attempt to click on edit with Elementor, Scroll down here in this page attributes. Don't choose default template, choose elemental canvas and then update. After that, when you see that all the loading is done, you can now click on edit with elemental. Remember, we want to copy this page. Now you come back to the plugin. We have installed WooCommerce. After installing WooCommerce, you are going to see Run Setup Wizard. You can choose to run it. You can choose not to run it. But there is one thing you are going to see. You, go, you must see this WooCommerce and see product. That is what we want to see. We don't need to run the Setup Wizard. We don't want to use it for what you want to use it for we don't need the wizard so let's come back to the page editing okay before we come back to the page editing 
let's go our product from clickbank using wp automatic so this time around again you click on new campaign so you scroll down and choose clickbank product here you choose clickbank and now you give it a name uh, whatever the kind of product you want to be selling maybe you want to be selling how to make money online how to make money or something related to health something related to fitness something related to bodybuilding something related to blogging maybe you also want to be selling software and also want to be selling plugin whatever you want to be selling you put in here you scroll down the number of products you want to import I don't want to import more than 100 so you scroll down to leave orders alone here yeah. you can create a product category before you come here you choose you click on product and click on categories so on the product category you can choose free bank offers i just click enter so here remember if you don't reload this page we cannot say it and we must not reload it not to lose all our settings so what you need to do in this post type don't choose post come down here and choose product then you scroll down inside this category there are no category yet we just choose uncategorized until we publish it and choose so we can be able to reload this space so let's publish now good so you can now scroll down and choose click bank offers click bank offers scroll back up choose this to happen every single minute and then update Do this again, scroll down and run campaign to see maybe this actually works or not. So let's see. Excellent, it works. So show us the product. So this will be creating product for you automatically. If someone click on buy, order now, it takes them to the sales page of the product creator. And let's see maybe this uh, thing works or not. How do you know? You pretend like you want to order. Click, sorry. Let's click like we want to order. doesn't show us other body doesn't show us other body let's go and use another product that show us ways to order let's run and choose another product we want to confirm maybe the affiliate works or not so you click this and let's tap now scroll down to see it and click on order now okay scroll down and you click on mm, no this 
one also doesn't give us chance to order. We want a product that gives us chance to order. So we can be sure the Avilier links works or not. How to become a ticket broker? Scroll down, click on order. This one also don't give us chance to order, but it works. How will you know it works? Look up here. Is it up equals your username? If your username is in front here, then the affiliate links work perfectly. If someone click on the product and order, you are going to get a commission. But now, we are going to go to create the front page. Because everything necessary needs to set has been set. But reload this page before you start editing. So let's see. So you click on add, add this, you choose this, you want to add menu first, tap menu, and you choose, oh sorry, I don't add necessary add-on on the plugin, so I need to go back to plugin again, and add all add-on needed, I need nav menu, so I go back here, our new plugin here you search elemental to search for nav menu add-on so let me know when you see it yeah nav menu add-on for elemental without this you won't be able to add the kind of menu i want to add right now so for it to work on this page i need to reload after activating it i've so this is it yeah so you click on this search menu oh. same this thing is still loading yeah search menu so you can see divot nav menu you put it in here on this select menu the menu you created the other time main menu so this is it you can choose it to put it in the middle if you want, here, or here, anywhere you want. But I want to choose it to be in the middle. So let's look at the page you want to copy. We already have all the menu, overview, about us, product, and contact. The next one is the topic. So you're going to be very fast here. You choose, you click on the plus, drag in there, and then you put something like... Welcome to the world of rich guys. Or come to where rich guys learn things. So you pick image, then content. So here we are choosing two elements. The first is image, the second is content, and underneath. It's a body, so you also drag the body at the bottom. Inside the image, you click on it, you choose it. You go to your library, you get an image. But if you don't get an image on your library, we made a mistake of not clicking on the product node will add pictures to our server. So we go back to the setting and make sure the product doesn't add images to our server. The reason why you shouldn't let any of these sort of things add images or things to your server, you 
if they do, you are quickly run out of the space. And it's not good for your hosting. So sorry, you click on our campaign. Click ban product. You click on edit. Now you are going to stroll down and come here. Uh, don't save photos. Okay, yeah, you choose this. Since we already installed the plugin, so we don't need to worry about it anymore. You just click on update. Now we are done with that. Let's go back to what we are doing. We want to use just any image. You can use this or just upload the images from the system. We want to choose, you click on upload file, download or whatever you save the images to. Then you scroll down and choose whatever image you want to use. So you wait for it to load and you insert. So we are done with inserting the image. So you write the content. Something related to your website, buy your website. I created this website to grab the grab videos from YouTube that gives you the by Also, I have choose Graham from Clickbank. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. So this is it. I just click here, buddy. We can see, check out our offers. And inside this link, you put the product link. So, how do you see the product link? If you decide, if you decide now, you see, you can't see the product. Even if you click on this product page, let's click on it. Seems the network is a bit slow. Yeah. Even if you click on product page, everything is hundred percent empty. So how do you make your product show on the product page? It's simple. You go back to your WooCommerce Here, come Where? So you scroll down here Come back to WooCommerce again and set it Click on settings Yeah, while waiting for the page to load, let's just put it in the middle. So below, what is the winning? We want to create six content. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
then below there is header there is text and there is a body now let's do it here we are going to pick three i'm sorry i need to leave this group that is spamming me okay Yeah, so we already have these six boxes. So inside it, you pick heading, text, and the body. Can you see it now? So we do the same thing inside here heading, choose this, text. anybody do the same thing here heading text anybody so we can play it below here too heading Text and body. Heading Text and body. Heading Good. So we want to do now is create the content. But since I want to be having the same thing with this, I don't need to create a new content. I just copy what's already here. But for you, you create your own content. This is just to show you how to design with the Elementor page. I don't say you should go and copy this website. And inside that, body, lemon. Same thing here. Arrows. So now. Click here. Come on. So to make sure product are shown on this product page, you come to WooCommerce settings, and then you you click on product. After clicking on settings. Click on product and then scroll down. They are for the shop page. Now I want the shop page to be product. Scroll down and click on save changes. Now let reload the page. Excellent. Products are showing now. So this is the page link. I am putting inside the others. Here. Here. Starting from here. Here. So yeah, what next? 
the next thing now is post so you can say something like post you may love so here yeah, first of all pick a topic that says post you may love I then put it in the middle and also we just post oh sorry upload so you just post it Let me look at the element I pick here. So to know which element you used, I want to click on it to see the element I used here. Yeah. So this is it. is the element I pick here. You can just double click on it. This type post grade. It is also post grade. Post grade. So this is the here. Uh, what? This is it. Below I had a button that says click here to see all of us. So I come back down here to and choose a button. Yeah. So you can make it big by come to the size and choose extra light. So that is it. I think I've already told you how to pick the colors and everything. So the home page is done. Oh, sorry. want to copy this about us page it is simple so we do this and now you click on okay this is the page we are working on this is the website we are working on and want to edit about us so you click on edit page Before you click on edit with Elementor, you scroll down and choose Elementor Canvas. Then you update and publish. After updating, now you can click on edit with Elementor. Here, yeah, look at it. I don't design this page from scratch. This is what I do. After adding just the menu, choose the menu. All I did was click here to pick a template. 
and you search about this is the template I use you click on insert so this is the template so all I need to do is change the content inside that template Like it is, is like it is here. So this is it. Barrels. Inside this place, there is a link inside this place. So you could just say over one. Here, you change it to link or whatever you want to choose it for. If you want to use for your own social media, you don't have a problem. Just use it for the social media. But for me, I'm not using it for social media. I'm using it to link to, to the product page. So I just click here and choose link. Chosen over one. Now you put in the link here. To add link here, just scroll down and paste the link here. Sorry, this is not the link. your own story or whatever you want just try something like try something reasonable I'm just doing this for training purpose so you are going to change the video inside for you to change the video click on this you want to change up this with YouTube link so you go to YouTube and then pick the you upload the video you want to use and then click on watch and pick the link up here then go back and paste the link here then the video inside this place we change it's slowing down because of network that is it is after all then
So this phase two, I choose a template. Sorry, I want to choose a template. So this is it. I believe all of you have created your web made by now. Did you have someone who haven't created his web mail? Yeah. So you add your social link inside this place. You add your uh, email down here, but I'm not adding any of this. So I can simply delete the element and just add a single body. Now look up, we have completed the entire website. Now let's look at it. So let's check it. <coughs> oh, sorry, we completed it, but we have not changed the home page. So how do you do that? It goes to customize. First thing you go to site and then it you change it to the your website name. Boom. You give your website name a tagline like I'm selling Gary. You can buy from me. This is the main menu. Now come to home page setting. For the home page to be on the home page, you choose static. I want to use overview for the home page. There is still something we need to do here. Click on publish. You 
come back to the menu, main menu, add item, and you add a blog page. Add a page. It's up here. You click on publish. Now you come back to the home page settings, overview, select post, and select blog. And you click on publish. Am I recording this? Okay. So you publish. So now let's look at the website. Yeah. So this is the website. Let's check each pages. Maybe we join each page. Barros. Product. Conrad Ross. And blog. So this is the home page. It shows our overs. It shows the post. And you can click here to see more. This is the barrels. This is product. This is corner rows. And this is blood. So that's it. We have completed the entire website. If you want to learn how to change this thing, all you need to do is come to this B team option click on this but the second thing you can go work on is creating your website entirely with elemental pages you can see there are some pages that I don't create with elemental like the blog page and the product page I don't create both with elemental but you can use your own and create everything entirely with elemental you come here, show down the footer, and this is it, copyright. At this copyright, you show down, and you copy this. Come back to team option, and paste it inside. Add your website name. Before you save changes, let's choose how you can add SEO. If you want Google Analytics, go to analytics.google.com, create an account, create a code, and post your code inside this place. So that's it, you save changes. So, we have created an entire, designed the entire website within an hour. So that is it.